Is it really cheaper to drive an electric car? That's the big question on many people's minds when they're thinking about getting one. It's not a straightforward yes or no, because lots of things can influence how much you'll spend on an electric vehicle, like initial cost, cost of charging, maintenance, and whether you'll actually save money over time. Let's break it down and figure it out. The electric car market is really taking off, and we can expect prices to go down quite a bit in the near future. One reason for this is that car manufacturers are striving to create more budget-friendly electric models. Another factor is that the costliest part of an electric car, the battery, is getting better and cheaper. Just to give you an idea, back in 2021, the average starting price for a new electric car was about $10,000 higher than the price of a typical gasoline car, which was a significant difference. However, with the rapid progress we're seeing in electric vehicle technology, it's likely that electric cars will become more affordable in the coming years. Here, to give you a perspective, an electric vehicle or EV owner spends approximately $485 on fuel each year. That's right, it's a game changer. No more costly trips to the gas station. A study conducted by the University of Michigan's Transportation Research Institute in 2018 revealed this fantastic figure. In contrast, those driving gasoline-powered cars had to spend a lot, with an average annual fuel cost of $1,117. But wait, there's more to discover. A 2020 study from Consumer Reports affirmed that EV drivers typically slash their yearly fuel expenses by around 60% compared to their gasoline-powered counterparts. So, not only is it environmentally friendly, but it's also a smart move for your wallet. However, it's important to note that these savings may not be the same for everyone, and it can get a bit complex. First, the efficiency of electric vehicles can vary. Efficiency is measured by how many kilowatt hours, or kWh, of electricity an EV uses to travel 100 miles, similar to a gasoline car's miles per gallon rating. In this case, a lower kWh of 100 miles is better. For example, the 2022 Tesla Model 3 RWD is a leader in efficiency, with a rating of 25 kilowatt hours per 100 miles so it's essential to consider this efficiency factor when you're comparing different electric cars. When it comes to maintenance, electric cars have a significant advantage over gasoline-powered vehicles. Since they don't have spark plugs to replace or oil to change, electric vehicles are easier on your wallet in terms of maintenance costs. While electric cars do require some basic upkeep, such as service checkups and tire rotations, they tend to be about half as expensive to maintain and repair when compared to traditional gas-powered cars. This means less money spent on maintaining your vehicle, which is a clear benefit of going electric. If you prefer to avoid doing the math yourself, a 2020 Consumer Report study provides a helpful shortcut. It compared nine of the most popular electric vehicles on the market with three equivalent gas-powered vehicles, including the best-selling, top-rated, and most efficient options in their respective classes. The results were quite clear. The lifetime ownership costs for all nine electric cars were several thousand dollars lower than the costs of all comparable internal combustion engine vehicles. In fact, most electric vehicles offered savings in the range of $6,000 to $10,000. More recent analyses have also shown that owning an electric vehicle is already less expensive than owning a similar gasoline-powered model. Let's delve into a comparison between the 2023 Porsche Taycan 4S and the 2023 BMW M4 competition. Both of them are high-performance vehicles with specific distinctions in power, powertrains, and driving experiences. The Taycan 4S stands out as an all-electric car. This electric nature offers an advantage in the form of instant torque, resulting in exceptionally rapid acceleration. Beyond its performance attributes, the Taycan 4S is an efficient car which achieves up to 301 miles per gallon, equivalent MPGE. 
This aligns with the electric vehicle's eco-friendly appeal. On the other side, the BMW M4 competition relies on gasoline as its power source, which delivers an exhilarating performance, but lacking the instant torque characteristic of electric power. However, its fuel efficiency is noticeably lower, offering up to 17 miles per gallon in city driving and 24 miles per gallon on the highway, making it less fuel efficient when compared to the Taycan 4S. Now, examining their technical specifications, distinctive features emerge. The M4 competition boasts a higher top speed, capable of reaching 155 miles per hour, making it a better choice for those who prioritize top-end speed capabilities. In contrast, the Taycan 4S reaches a slightly lower maximum speed of 143 miles per hour. When considering practicality, the M4 competition offers more trunk space, with a capacity of 12 cubic feet, which is particularly useful for individuals needing to transport larger quantities of luggage or cargo. On the other hand, the Taycan 4S provides a spacious 14.3 cubic feet of trunk space, catering to those with specific storage requirements. Regarding the driving experience, the Taycan 4S is renowned for its smooth and comfortable ride quality, thanks to the inclusion of an air suspension. In contrast, the M4 competition is celebrated for its engaging and dynamic driving experience, featuring a stiffer suspension setup and a more powerful engine, making it the preferred choice for those seeking an adrenaline-pumping performance on the road. These nuanced distinctions in features and driving experiences make each of these high-performance cars distinct, allowing consumers to select the one that best aligns with their specific preferences and priorities. When comparing the Taycan 4S and the M4 competition in terms of fuel efficiency and costs, a clear contrast emerges. The Taycan 4S proves to be an exceptionally efficient vehicle, offering an estimated range of around 301 miles on a single electric charge. In contrast, the M4 Competition, being a gasoline-powered car, can manage only about 255 miles on a full tank of fuel. Now, let's dive into the financial aspect of owning these vehicles. In the United States, where gas prices average around $3.82 a gallon and electricity costs approximately $0.14 cents per kilowatt hour, the disparities become evident. If you were to drive 100 miles in the Taycan 4S, it would cost you a modest $1.62 in electricity. However, covering the same 100 miles in the M4 competition would be considerably more expensive setting you back a substantial $10.30 in gasoline expenses. This substantial difference in operating costs between the two vehicles not only highlights the Taycan 4S's efficiency, but also underscores the economic advantages of electric vehicles in comparison to their gasoline-powered counterparts. Now, when we look at how these cars perform in different driving scenarios, things get even more interesting. The Taycan 4S excels in city driving because electric cars are super efficient in stop-and-go traffic. In the city, it can achieve an amazing 350 mpge, while the M4 competition can only manage 17 miles per gallon. This results in a cost of just 94 cents for every 100 miles in the Taycan 4S in city driving, compared to a much higher $5.90 in the M4 competition. When it comes to long highway drives, the Taycan 4S is still more efficient than the M4 competition, but the difference isn't as dramatic. On long routes, the Taycan 4S can cover about 280 miles per gallon equivalent, while the M4 competition gets around 24 miles per gallon. So, driving 100 miles on a long route in the Taycan 4S would cost roughly $1, while it's about $4.18 in the M4 competition. Now, let's talk about the pricing aspect. The 2023 Porsche Taycan 4S comes with a starting price of $90,900, while the 2023 BMW M4 competition starts at $86,900.
It's evident that the 2023 Porsche Taycan 4S is marginally more expensive than the 2023 BMW M4 competition. This price difference is likely attributed to the Taycan 4S's more advanced electric powertrain and its luxurious interior, which adds to the overall cost of the vehicle. When it comes to owning an electric car, there are some intriguing facts to consider. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, the average cost of operating an electric car amounts to approximately $485 per year, significantly less than the $1,117 annual cost of operating a gasoline-powered car. This substantial cost difference is primarily due to the fact that electricity is considerably cheaper than gasoline and electric cars, being more efficient, offer economic advantages in terms of operational expenses. This emphasizes the economic benefits of electric vehicles and provides an additional incentive for those considering the switch from traditional gasoline-powered cars to electric alternatives. Insights from a study conducted by the Consumer Reports National Research Center revealed that the average annual cost of maintaining an electric car stands at approximately $400. In contrast, maintaining a gasoline-powered car comes at a slightly higher cost, averaging around $550 per year. This underscores the cost efficiency of electric vehicles when it comes to ongoing maintenance expenses. As a practical example, consider the Taycan 4S which necessitates regular brake inspections and tire rotations for its maintenance needs. In contrast, the M4 competition follows a more conventional maintenance routine, including oil changes every 7,500 miles, in addition to other routine tasks such as spark plug replacements and air filter replacements. These differences in maintenance requirements further highlight the potential savings and simplicity associated with owning an electric vehicle making it an attractive option for those seeking a cost-effective and low-maintenance driving experience. It's important to note that many governments provide incentives to encourage the adoption of electric vehicles. These incentives typically come in the form of rebates, tax credits, or other financial assistance programs. For instance, in the United States, the federal government offers a tax credit of up to $7,500 for those purchasing an electric car. Moreover, individual states often provide supplementary incentives like rebates or exemptions from emissions testing. It's worth mentioning that the specific amount and type of incentives can differ depending on the state or country where you reside. Therefore, it's advisable to contact your local government or check their official websites to explore the incentives that might be available to you. These incentives can significantly reduce the upfront cost of owning an electric vehicle and make them an even more appealing choice from both an environmental and financial perspective. That concludes today's discussion. We appreciate your engagement. If you found this information valuable, please show your support by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to Ignition Life for more captivating insights into the automotive industry's latest advancements.